been in Charlotte since the early 90s, but uh, I grew up in Maine, I, but I was born in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm not really from anywhere, but I'm kind of from here now, I would say. You know, I, I did art when I was a little kid, and most little kids do art. Like, almost all kids do art. So, I guess I never got out of art. A lot of people just stopped doing it or whatever, and I just continued to do it. I got a lot of, you know, encouragement because I guess I was, I was good at it. I continued to get, like, positive reinforcement, so I just kept, kept doing the art. If I'm painting, I use uh, acrylic. I also like digital art, and I'd have to say they're so different that I can't say I like one better than the other. They're just two completely different ways of, of working. Before I talked to you guys, I was writing down a few little notes, and one of the things I thought of, um, because I just started a painting, was the balance between my own personal uh, edification in painting and uh, what the painting would convey to others. So that's like a struggle, if you will, in doing a painting is balancing what it's doing for me with um, what others stand it gain from it. And, uh, and that, that's a, like a push and pull as I'm doing the painting because what it does for me is very direct. You know, it's physical actions that I'm painting, you know, it, it need, need no explanation to me. But if it's just me moving paint around, you know, ultimately it may not uh, serve any purpose for, for others if they don't understand, you know, what, what I'm trying to convey. Because art is, by its nature, it's, it's, it's a form of communication. So if the, the, the imagery is so esoteric that it doesn't mean anything to others, then the limits, um, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's value to other people. But other times, you know, and, and sometimes when I start a painting, I just forget about that. I just say, well, you know, just for now, this just needs to be for me. You know, I, I don't need to worry about um, others for now. And sometimes you got to do that, you know, because um, you know you're an important <laughs> part of this too. But but then you know, as you you know work on the painting, you want to. Um, uh, give other people some means of, you know, accessing what's uh, what's going on, either uh, by, you know, putting more objectivity into it, or symbols that are, are recognizable, adhering to a set of, uh, like, known aesthetic, um, you know, values or criteria that um, other people would understand. I, I did all the art for uh, the cowfish, and they have so two locations now. One's in, in Raleigh, and it's a new one. Cap Trust Building, which is in the North Hill small area. But as far as galleries, um, I worked with uh, Genome Gallery uh, for a long time, did a lot of their shows, and, uh, and they don't have a physical location, but they still have an online uh, presence. You can still buy art for them. I've done art for uh, 1900 Mexican Grill on Elizabeth. Avenue, El Camino restaurant is important for them. Um, there's a lot of stores that uh, sell my art, just to name a few. Uh, Say Supply, uh, Green with Envy, Pure Vita, you know, uh, uh, Ruby's Gift, uh, the uh, North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, it's a new one. Uh, and there's a lot of others, but they're, they're all listed on my uh, website. Charlotte's unique perspective is that um, we're in the South, so we have uh, that paradigm, but also uh, we're a city, uh, we're a metropolitan area, uh, we're diverse, we have uh, people from all over the country and other countries um, are here in Charlotte, uh, so it's the mixture probably of all these different perspectives. There may be uh, some competitiveness just in terms of, you know, people want to be good and, you know, they want to uh, establish themselves as important in the scene, but for the most part, all the artists I've met in Charlotte are really friendly and uh, really helpful. Yeah, and we look out for each other and try to, you know, help each other along and uh, I, I think that's really healthy and uh, I like that a lot. The, the upcoming show I have now, the only one
one that I have is in December. It's the winter show at the Green Hill Center in Greensboro. And that's a, a group show, a bunch of different artists. You can find me on www.jevaart.com. My other links um, you can find uh, from there. As far as last words, if you are somebody out there that likes art, then you know, buy some local art. Uh, help out our scene. If you're someone out there that does art, I would say the best thing, the best advice I give to somebody starting out is uh, just don't uh, stop doing it. You just gotta keep plugging.